Talk to us about how demons right now, for every, every one of us in this room, are trying to work or get at us. Right. So uh, I want to pass on some nuggets that are hopefully useful to you. Number one, the spiritual world's very legalistic. Demons are bound by the rules of God. They have to operate within those rules. Their normal activity is temptation. They're allowed to do that to us our entire lives. That's what they're allowed to do. God has them all on a leash, and he lets the leash go enough to let them tempt us because that's what makes us spiritually stronger. It's through being challenged and struggling that we gain spiritual strength. If we were just laying yeah. and getting grapes fed to us and there was never a challenge, do you ever get strong? No, you're actually weakened by that. It's mm. advers adversary in life that makes us stronger. Mm -hmm. So the demon serves in spite of himself when it comes to temptation. The extraordinary activity is the stuff you see in the movies, infestation, oppression, and possession. He's not allowed to do that, and it's not a he, it's a spirit, right? The demon's not allowed to do those things unless we invite him into our lives to do those things. So somebody with valid authority has to tell the demon, I invite you into my life in this extraordinary way before he can do it. His hands are tied. Mm. That's either you, if it's your body, you, if it's your child that's not of the age of reason, you have the authority to baptize them, you also have the authority to curse them because you just have parental authority. Some parents misuse that. Could be an ancestor, sins of the fathers to the fourth and fifth generation, right? So sometimes we see like a curse in the family that came from an ancestor who was doing really bad things. So the demon has to be invited through valid authority to do something extraordinary beyond temptation. 